So guess what? I'm finally back with another Top 5 Friday. It's been a while. But hey, you know what? Being in quarantine, you have a little bit more time on your hands, right? So I decided to... to don't, don't touch... No, don't touch the microphone. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, so I don't have a lot more time on my hands taking care of a two-year-old 24-7. Stop. But I'm going to do my best to get through this Top 5 Friday and give you the... I did this video once before, but God, there's so many more games. I decided to just go ahead and do it again. No, another five. Stop. 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 Leave that alone. So yes, I wanted to totally do this list again because there are games on this list I've never been able to talk about before and maybe it's because I've been traumatized by them so yeah now's our chance to talk about them five more video games that we rented as kids that turned out to be horrible but before we get to that we have a sponsor and my god is that needed in, in this day and age right now I want to thank our sponsor War Spear Online invites you to meet the spring on a new island where the ancient school of magic opens its doors. Explore dungeons, school mysteries, world and guild events, and incredible secrets. Start with thousands of players in your hectic semester. Join the school and protect it from the witchcraft curses. Fight against the Mamba and the Serpentus raid bosses and have fun with dynamic events only. 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 You gonna do that this whole time? Only in War Spear Online. If you want to take part in this new and interesting event, click in the link down below and get started. My voice is already kind of just going out on me because for the last three weeks I have only talked to a two-year-old. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not gonna get through this. Oh, it's Friday night. Nose while I watch a brand new video. Oh, oh. Time by Friday, time by Friday tonight. So, first up on the list is a game that I don't know if it really should be here because I do like the game, but it really just didn't work out as a rental, and that's The Little Mermaid. Now, The Little Mermaid is a great game by Capcom. Uh, it follows the movie pretty well, uh, and it's fun. It, it's actually, the controls are great, it's it's fun. The, the biggest issue is that it is so short. You can literally beat this game in 20 minutes. Now, of course, when you've never played the game before, it's gonna take a little bit longer than 20 minutes, so that night, that Friday night, when we got the game, it took maybe like an hour, hour and a half, and that was it. We had beat the game, and then what are you gonna do? We we had no choice. We had to play like with our Ninja Turtle figures and eat pizza rolls and watch Home Alone probably. And, and then the next Saturday, the next Saturday was the big day of the first day of the weekend. You know, me and Chris would wake up at our grandmother's house and boom, just immediately it'd be a rat race to try to get to the Nintendo or the Super Nintendo, whichever system we were playing at that time, to play the new game. It was just like fresh and new again. It was like, boom, let's get up. Let's play Joe and Mac again. Let's play Act Razor again. I don't think either one of us got up to play because we'd already done it. It beat it. It was gone. What? What? What now? So we got up. Probably ate like donuts or something unhealthy. Went outside. Got sun for some reason, and and that was it. I mean, it, it was really not a great rental. Great game. Still love it to this day. And, and and I mean, how could you not? Look, it's a Little Mermaid on the NES, but. Now next up on the list is a game that I think a lot of you out there might actually enjoy. I sure as hell didn't, and that's Jurassic Park. Overall, the gameplay is pretty decent in this thing. And when we rented it, this this was the height of Jurassic Park. Of course we wanted to play a Jurassic Park game, but this thing has so many flaws in it, it makes it unfun, and it especially makes it a really bad rental. And let me explain. First of all, the map. The map is huge in this game. Freaking huge. It's First of all, it's an overhead action game, kind of in the vein of like, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. But the map is huge, right? And their goal is to essentially just get off the island. Well, the, the, the map is huge, like I just said, but you can't... There's no in-game map. There's no in-game map. Now, I don't know if the actual game came with a map. That would have been great, but you sure as hell didn't get it in a rental. So you're left to wander around or, or wondering where you are or, or drawing your own maps. It's so easy to get lost in this thing and just rem not even remember where anything is. And then you go into these 3D perspective. Once you go into the building, 
it becomes 3D. And so now you either have to get key cards or, or do other various things with like restoring power, I think. And that those sections just, I, I couldn't stand them at all, okay? That was just, it, they would just drive me crazy. I, I would get lost in them, the big thing. I was so disorienting. But here, here's where it really, really infuriates you, okay? There's no save, all right? No save in this, so no battery backup, and there's no password. So this is a long ass game, and you have to beat it all in one sitting. So we got to the end of the night, getting ready to go to bed, and it's like, okay, there's no, there's no way to save this. Zelda had Link to the Past had a way to save it. You're telling me we can't save this game? And then again on Saturday morning, we wake up and, sh and pop in the game, you know, probably because we didn't want to have anything else to do. And yeah, I was like, I'm not going through all that again. All right, now number three on my list is a game I actually don't have anymore. <laughs> and, and I kind of regret getting rid of it because there are some memories attached to it. And that is Sunday Fun Day. Now, for, for those of you who know or don't know, uh, Chris got suckered into buying Bible Adventures and all that. That was made by Wisdom Tree, an unlicensed game manufacturer that'll manufacture stuff for the NES. Well, they took the original Menace Beach Okay, and they slapped a new label on it and they tweaked some things and it became Sunday Fun Day. And Sunday Fun Day is essentially you are this guy on a skateboard trying to get to Sunday school. Now, let me just say, while this was a really horrible rental, uh, I've played worse games. This isn't the worst game out there, but it certainly wasn't fun. It was, it was Chris's pick and you know, he had gotten, I don't know if this was before or after Bible Adventures, I cannot remember. But his mom would always make him buy like Bible-ish good games that weren't violent. Well, this seemed to be one of them. And you know, we got suckered into getting it again. I just remember just being so frustrating because the controls are just so slippery. Uh, the, the the mechanics, they just, they're just awful. Especially when you go down below in like the sewer or something. I remember like being bounced around and just getting so frustrated because you couldn't control your guy. It was like, it was uncontrollable. I'm done with this. I'm not playing this anymore. And another Saturday ruined because of Chris getting a Bible game. All right. So I like Bart versus the Space Mutants. It was one of the first games for whatever reason that I uh, played on the NES. And I have fond memories of that first level. My friends across the street owned it. And so I would borrow it and play it from time to time. And I, I you know, sometimes you're a kid, you don't, you don't know any better. Sometimes you know when a game is bad, but at that time I was like, man, I'm playing the Simpsons on the Nintendo. This is awesome. And so I didn't mind it. Like there's some clunkiness to it, the jumping the mechanics. There's a lot of stuff about that game that's really bad, but I, I still have a fondness for that game. It's, it's up on my shelf on a box right now. I, I do like that game. So when Bart versus the world came out, I was like, well, yeah, we got to rent this and this is bad. I was over it at this point. It's the same mechanics, the same really bad jumping. Uh, and, and, and the stages are just, they're not very fun or memorable. Then they're, they're extremely, oh yeah, that's, that's Legos. That's Legos. So uh, yeah, the stages are just monotonous. There's, there's just, they're not fun in the least. And it, 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 the amount of charm that that first game had for me personally, this was just completely devoid of it. There's really not much to say about this game other than it's garbage. Uh, there's very few stages to select from and, and it's just it's just not pleasing to look at. It's not pleasing to play. It's not, not pleasing to listen to. There's nothing really about this game that's redeemable or really worth sticking into your NES and tainting it with. So uh, I'm definitely gonna have to put this on number two of my list of really bad game rentals because when we rented this, I knew immediately that we had made um, a terrible, terrible mistake. <laughs> okay, this next one. Oh man, this next one. I, I, I should have really put this one on the first list that I did. Maybe I just had a block or whatever, but I saw it on my shelf the other day and it kind of what, it's what inspired to make this video in the first place. Was like, oh my God, I remember renting that. Uh, it's winter games. It's winter games. So look, I actually liked those wintry summer games on the Atari ST. 
Uh, we would play them, I'd play them all the time. They were fun. Uh, lots of events, uh, great graphics, really easy to control. They, they were great stuff. Uh, so when I saw Winter Adventures, or Winter Games, I'm sorry, on the NES, I was like, you know, we should give this one a try too. I mean, I think it's gonna be awesome. There are four events. There are four events and not a single one of them are fun or even remotely interesting to play. You got ski jumps, you got ice skating, or like figure skating or whatever they call it. Uh, you got bobsledding. I mean, they're, 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 they're just so not fun. They're all, they're probably as, as horrible to play as, as it is to sit through this video and watch. Uh, these games, you can't control anything that happens in them. And, and if you can, I, I honestly don't know. Uh, I, I, sometimes you just, try to get lucky with it uh but yeah I, I stuck this thing in the nes and that was the first glaring thing was like holy crap there's only four events in this thing they're so rudimentary like how could you not put as many how could you only put four fit four games on the cart right these are not like mario 3 stages here they're just so rudimentary like almost like barely any graphics in them like come on really not that it matters, the four that are on there are garbage, so I guess that's a good thing. We're spared more, event, more events to just, to not have to deal with, but but that, but this thing is just not a, a fun game in, in the slightest, and I think that's the theme of this entire list. A lot of, no it's not, because some of these games are fun, Little Mermaid's fun, but the rest of them are not just, they're not very fun. And the point of gaming is to have fun. And so if you're not having fun, then what's the point of gaming? So we found out on those weekends that we rented these games, except for Little Mermaid, that uh, our fun was going to have to consist of eating pizza rolls, going outside and, and, and sticking Ninja Turtles up our asses. Because that's essentially what, because there's going to be no video games that weekend unless we wanted to play some of the ones that we had already owned. and. We're probably kind of bored, bored with at that time. I'm still rambling anyway. If you want to order a season five Blu-ray, click the link here or here or whatever. If you're not sub, sub if you want um, and all that good stuff. And anyway, in the comments below, let me know what your horrible rentals were as a kid.